Hello everybody, I'm Ibar Abbott. We're here on ESDA Magello here testing and trying to get side bite here for the next round of ESDA. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we are in the public ESDA session and uh, we got a couple other ESDA drivers up there. So we're trying to figure out, I'm trying to get side bite in the car. So we're running, we ran a couple of practice laps. So we're gonna go full send here and see where we can be at. All the way up in the fourth. It's a very quick course. There's very little room for error. And that wasn't too bad. The final inner clip didn't need to pull the handbrake going into that transition, but unfortunately I did. But overall, not too, too bad. Um, definitely a pretty solid uh, pretty solid solo run. We're gonna do maybe one or two more solos and we're gonna maybe try and jump in and get some tandems because we are practicing for the next round of ESD, which is in two weeks. Hopefully we can have a good qualifying. Pushed way wide on that first clip, which set me way weird for these. So no handbrake needed at all. And then just floating the angle out. So a very fast course, and it's extremely quick. So um, you got to be very smooth on transitions and things like that. Very consistent and smooth which is one thing that I'm trying to get more of. Struggling a little bit with this car when it comes to grip and being smooth with it. Uh, I don't think I have my settings dialed that quite well, but slowly but surely we're getting better and better in this car. So let's see if we can uh, maybe get a lead or they're probably gonna wanna run each other. So yeah, those guys are gonna wanna run each other. They've been in battle, I believe before. Too much angle, yep. Do not, definitely don't want to touch handbrake at all after initiation because that screws everything up and the car does some very weird things. So overall, those last few runs were actually pretty decent. If we pick the wrong line, as you can see, we kind of get thrown off for the remainder of the course. So you need to make sure you pick your line. That initiation is super critical to being a perfect line. So we might try and follow behind these guys and see what kind of line they're running. Yeah, they're running a nice tight line up there which kind of throws you in for the correct line there. Okay. Those two are getting doors. I'm kind of just back here, just kind of being a camera car. <laughs> like I said, those guys are definitely very solid competitors. So. I mean, I will throw a lead against a Sly Culture Man. See what we can do. door left nothing major kind of max out the angle going through that last clip <laughs> oh man we kind of max the angle out on that last one see if we can get a chase run see if we'll be able to keep up see if we have the grip I don't know if we have the grip. He's definitely got way more side weight than we do. Gonna have to cut serious angle to catch up to him. 
definitely cannot keep the speed or angle that he was running. So we need to find some more side bite. So there we go, Brandon Garner coming up. Doing a little practice runs while I'm still trying to get my setup dialed, but it's okay. No big deal. Like we kind of wavered a little bit probably causing him to come smack into our door but it's okay it's all about practice now let's see if we can actually keep up with him now ah, we floated wide we made us lose the ground massively cut angle that was a nice initiation initially but we kind of floated wide we made us lose ground on him and then we struggled for the remainder of that course because we it did float wide like that unfortunately and that's just the game of this course i'm noticing is you got to be online one wrong move throws you off for the entire course Let's see if we can't get our line down That's too much angle. <laughs> Don't do that. So we're going to go run this final run here and see if we can't get a solid run in. So we can take a look at the replay and see where we're at. because of the grass drop but overall and then definitely a grass drop there <laughs> we're gonna get one final run in here looks like we're gonna have Holloway following us so we can't lay down a good lead the end but well not too shabby so we're gonna go take a look at the replay angles so we'll be right back we take a look at the box cam of this run kind of see where we were at on this run this is the run before the final so we were outside there nowhere where we needed to be right there we were pretty good a little bit of dirt drop there kind of throwing us off there as you can see because of the dirt drop and because of that it kind of threw us offline a little bit and a dirt drop there this is that final run so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below if you guys enjoyed this episode more testing and qualifying and everything coming up soon as well as some new things happening here on the channel so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the found in the description box below that was a pretty good entry there was a pretty good clip a little bit of a bump though kind of threw us a little offline but we managed to stay there so hope you guys had fun here watching this episode as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you on the track